Hey brother, today I want to talk about Thanksgiving as it's Thanksgiving week. And every year I get a 911 call. <laughs> I get people having a lot of challenges and issues. And I want you to think about these two things during this Thanksgiving time. One is if you don't have a gratitude practice, I want you to really focus on all of the blessings and abundance in your life, not the negatives. But I want you this week, think about every day before you go to sleep or when you get up, three things you're thankful for and grateful for. Okay, now, <laughs> I don't look real pretty, do I? I'm grateful that I didn't cancel the appointment with the dermatologist and that the skin cancer was caught incredibly early. And while I may look like who knows what, I'm grateful that we're able to treat it without surgery and we should have no issues. Okay. Um, also, if you have a partner, a wife who gets overly stressed around the holidays, and you know this, it is up to you to lead the strong, calm, masculine presence during these holidays. Whether you're doing the cooking or not, you can either be reactive, like many people will be, or you could be calm, you could be responsive, and you could maybe change the direction these things go. And give some thought in the next day or so, what are some hurdles, obstacles, problems you may face so that you know how to deal with them or what you're going to do. It is a time for celebration, for family, for gratitude. And I think we often forget that. Personally, me. I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's the only four-day weekend. It used to be when I wasn't self-employed. The only four-day weekend you really ever got, you know, that was a freebie. And I love the time with family. I love the cooking, the whole nine yards. Uh, it doesn't mean you throw out all your goals and things you're working on. Uh, maybe you don't have six pieces of pie if you're working on fitness and health goals. Maybe you have smaller pieces and just have two or three. Maybe uh, I'm going down to my sister's. If I wasn't doing that, I was thinking of doing a lasagna just to do something different because I'm, you know, not enamored with the big turkey feast. And some of those fixings are going to be made for my son's birthday, the green bean casserole. So let's enjoy the time with family. Let's not forget, if we have older parents, you don't have 10 more years with them if everyone in their family lives to 85 and they're 75. You have the number of visits that you see them each year. So be loving and kind to yourself. Keep up on your reading. Keep up on your journaling, your routines, your exercise, and lead with the right energy with your family and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. All right, brother? Talk to you later.